Today, I also plan to activate 500 members of the Massachusetts National Guard to continue to add support to our health care system driven by staffing issues associated with Omicron. These members are on top of the 500 we activated earlier this month. These guardsmen and women will join the ranks of soldiers already assisting our medical facilities. There's no question at this point in time that staffing remains an enormous challenge for many of these providers. This activation will alleviate some of the pressure in those places. It's important to remember while there are many guard members with medical training, not all of them have medical training, many of them have other kinds of training. And for many of the guard members with medical training, when they're not serving, they're working in a hospital or a long-term care facility or some other health care organization. 